With Lost Records Bloom and Rage on the way, we are already getting theories. Now, it's no secret that this game is kinda like Don't Nod's reimagining of Life is Strange, having even a similar kind of vibe to it, but obviously improved. But it might be even more connected to Life is Strange, more than we already thought. We know our main character in Lost Records is gonna be Swan Holloway, this girl right here. There's a theory going around that she is related to a series favorite character from Life is Strange. Now, keep in mind it's just a theory. A game theory! And nothing is confirmed yet. But it does make some sense. So, possible minor spoilers for Life is Strange. The entire series, I guess. We'll just throw that out there. If that's something that bothers you, go play those games as they're amazing. Anyways, this is Swan our main protagonist for the upcoming Lost Records game. Don't Nod describes her as a loner who loves movies, animals, and spends most of her time filming Velvet Cove with her camcorder. So the theory is, is that she looks a lot like Brody from Life is Strange 2, a fan favorite character. Now even though we don't know a ton about Swan just yet, I will say she shares a fairly striking resemblance to Brody, especially when you put them side by side with similar builds, facial structures, the same eye color, and almost the exact same hair color. Now this could easily be a coincidence, them looking similar, but it gets a little crazier. They share the same last name, Holloway, spelled the exact same way too. Now, to my knowledge, and I could be wrong, but throughout the entire Life is Strange series, there's no repeat names unless they're obviously related, like mother, you know, daughter, stuff like that. Donut knows what they're doing. Nine times out of ten, their writing is very intentional and specific. They hide stuff in their games all the time. They, they do this type of shit. And before you say it, yes, this game takes place 20 years before Life is Strange 2. And I know that Lost Records takes place partially in 1995, while Life is Strange 2 takes place in 2016. I've seen that some people said that Swan could be Brody's mother. He would have already been born by that time. But, that doesn't mean that they're not related. I was thinking in more of the realm of being Brody's sister, or maybe even cousin, if we have to stretch it. Which would be super cool, nonetheless. It would potentially give us a chance to see a young Brody and get to know him more. He could have even been inspired by Swan at the time, you know, in 1995. So the other thing that could break this theory is Brody in Life is Strange 2 says he's from Utah, or at least implies he's from Utah and Lost Records takes place in Michigan. Yes, this is true, and the theory would be dead if we didn't have the most recent trailer for Lost Records, the Hi-Fi Summer trailer, giving us a visual of the town and Swan through her lens. So basically in the trailer, it shows Swan is gonna be leaving Velvet Cove and soon. Goodbye, Velvet Cove. I'll soon be flying away too. Now she doesn't say why, but it could be because simply her family is moving away for whatever reason. I mean, they did that plot line with Max in Life is Strange 1. And while she could be leaving on her own accord, as she is around the age of 17 to 18 years old, basically technically an adult, she seems like she likes the town she lives in. She has a group of friends here. I just, I doubt she would want to just leave like that. Now again, it's just a theory, and of course, there's the big hurdle. Don't Nod doesn't even own the rights to Life is Strange anymore, or its characters. That now belongs to Deck Nine, the now new developers behind Life is Strange, and Square Enix, the publishers. So could they even have the rights to Brody's character? I mean, he is only a small side character in Life is Strange 2. We don't really get a lot of him. There is a little room to work with, though. Now they obviously couldn't have Brody as he is in Life is Strange 2, or how he appears in Life is Strange 2, even for the future segments we're supposed to get in Lost Records. But, but they could simply imply his existence, or even simply make some references to his character in Lost Records, don't nod or sneaky little bastards, especially when it comes to Life is Strange references, like how they did with um, Tell Me Why. Fire game by the way, check that one out if you haven't yet. But all in all, it could be as simple as the resemblance in the last name just being a reference to Life is Strange 2, and that's it. Don't Nod are simply proud of their work, and with Square Enix basically brushing 2 under the rug for the most part, which is a shame as that game is super underrated, 
and this could just be Don't Nod's way of paying tribute to a character that may have only had a small part in Life is Strange 2 that they wanted to go into more detail with, but never could. Of course, it's just a little theory, but it's one that I hope is true. So I love stuff like this, it's one of the reasons I love Don't Nod and how involved with their games they are. You don't see a lot of developers like that, and we need more of that. So no matter what, shout out to Don't Nod, you guys are the best, and no matter what, I absolutely cannot wait to play Lost Records Bloom and Rage. I have a feeling it's gonna be my game of the year, or at least really close, it looks super cool, I'm so excited. But anyways, what do you think? And do you have any theories on Lost Records yet? Let me know in the comments below, let's talk Lost Records, Life is Strange, all that good stuff. But anyways, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. You're awesome. If you like what you've seen, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to see more of what I've done and what's to come. But anyways, thanks for coming, and thanks for watching.